Hi, welcome to Off I-80. This is your real estate market update for March. I'm Nicole Dower. And I'm Luke Godfrey. And this is going to be our last update before we start seeing the year-long impact of the COVID shutdowns on our market. Um, so just to give you kind of a story about how it's been going out there at the moment uh, since our last update. Um, for buyers, it's really a very competitive market right now. So we're having to remove contingencies, come in way over asking. Um, you know, obviously coming in cash is always better for us, but it's even stronger at the moment. Um, and then uh, we're seeing our, our new home sales are also going up in cost. And, uh, and it's a great time on the flip side if you're trying to sell. Listings are flying off the market, getting multiple offers in the first week. Yeah, flying which is a perfect segue to talk about our days on market, comparing days on market from last year to this year. Last year, um, average days on market for home sales was 57 days. And this year, this month, um, actually the data is taken from February 1st to February 28th, is 30 days. So that's significantly less than we had last year. And it's really because demand is so high and supply is really low. Yeah, and then another factor to talk about is our interest rates have been going up actually. So since last month, they've gone up over a quarter of a percent and we're still seeing our demand at crazy high levels right now, despite that. Yeah, and a quarter of a percent doesn't sound like a lot, but that's in just one month. That's, that's, that's big. And so uh, some people are speculating that it might end up making buyers kind of frenzy toward making offers quicker and push the market even harder than it's pushed right now. Yeah, because the lenders are telling us that it may go up a little bit more, which means that it's going to impact how much money people have available to them to spend on homes. So it, it will start to eventually put some pressure on us speeding up a little bit. Long term, it'll slow us down. But right now, it's probably going to speed us up a little bit. Yeah. Um, also, average sold price. So for the month of data from February 1st to February 28th, average sold price last year was 501000 in Solano County. And this year, it's 549000 That is... That is huge. Um, on the flip side of that, the listing price that agents and home sellers have decided to sell their homes at hasn't it, it hasn't changed that much. It's only like six thousand dollars difference from last year's average listing price to this year's average listing price. So that's kind of an interesting little tidbit of information. Yeah, and. We were talking about this offline, but I, I really don't know what that means. Uh, it's I'm not totally clear. Yeah, uh, we've we've been seeing houses consistently going for more than list price, so it's interesting that the list price, when you look at a year's worth of data, hasn't really changed all that much. So, I mean, I'm sure it will next month, but for this month, it's interesting. It didn't really change all that much. Yeah, and like you said, when we start looking at data from next month, we're also going to have to factor in the shutdowns and. In March last year, things really halted to a big stop. We we saw things picking up again by August, September, October of last year. But March, it was like psh, crickets in real estate. Yeah, absolutely. So, so we will so see. Another, another big thing that's changed is our months of inventory um, actually on the market. So I think part of this is the market reacting to how high our prices are jumping up right now. So we've got more inventory on the market now than we did a month ago. Um, and part of that's the time of the year. As we roll into spring, we typically see a little bump in inventory. But I also do think that part of it is the market trying to react to take advantage of how high the prices are right now. Right. Some of the things that are kind of popping up here and there, we were talking before about uh, rental units, people who own rental units, landlords um, might be less likely to want to hold on to that through all the changes and the legislation that's happened in California over the last few months. So that yeah, could good if you're a buyer, it, it could mean you might be able to get a property, get into something. But yeah, it's absolutely. still a seller's market, 100%. Completely. And it, I mean, that will help to relieve some of the pressure on our market. I mean, another thing that happened recently in our market is, you know, we lost a bunch of fires, unfortunately, 
we lost a bunch of homes due to the fires. Right. And that's got folks that are out in the rental market and some of them are trying to rebuild their homes. And because cost of construction has gone up so much in the last four months, that's putting pressure on folks too. I've heard of some folks that can't rebuild is they just don't have enough insurance money. Um, also putting pressure on our new home builds uh, for like our new home developers here, their prices are going up one to 2%, which is a lot um, depending on which month you actually lock in your price. So it's, yeah, prices are going up across the board right now in our market. So uh, as far as if you're a seller in this market, uh, it's in your favor. You're, you're probably smiling at the potential and the equity you're sitting on right now and you should go for it. And if you're a buyer, hang in there. Yeah. Just know that it's, it's tough for buyers. It's not impossible. I got one in contract this week. Uh, It's just, you have to remove contingencies. You got to come in high on your price. So it's, it's tough right now on the buyer side. It's not impossible, but it's just tough. Right. And we're still seeing a lot of of listings with uh, multiple offers and over asking and over appraise. So you got to be flexible. Yep. Got to do everything you can to bring the best offer to the table. And and it's it's pushing some people. It's, it's some buyers just can't afford and they just can't hang. And what I'm telling people that are in that place is just hold on. The market won't stay like this forever. It, it always adjusts. You know, there's seller's markets where the sellers have all the leverage. There's buyer's markets where the buyers have all the leverage. And then there's markets where it's a little more even and you can kind of negotiate. Right now, it's clearly a seller's market. One of the strongest seller's markets probably we've ever had in California, but certainly since I've been in the business. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's it. That's our market update. We'll give you another one next month.